Today we need to uh, decontaminate the duct which leads from the APU towards the PEX and for that we're gonna need this interesting device. I'm uh, with my colleague today here and we're gonna do it together. So first of all we need to install it uh, on the high pressure connection over here. Yeah, there is a check valve which need to be open. So put it there. So that will gonna block it against the closing. So we'll put it in. Yeah. It holds and now we'll install the piece of fabric there which looks like this so it will gonna tell us if there is any sort of contamination right okay let's go that we're gonna screw on the bottom of it and basically the hot air we're gonna flow from the duct down. We will run it for 15 minutes and after that we'll see our result. So all equipment is installed. It's just uh, me and uh, Martin here. So we don't need to put any barriers around, but uh, if there'll be more people, we need to of course install the safety protection. Yeah, so now we will move to the cockpit. We need to perform preparation, of course. Uh, so start with the uh, engine bleeds, uh, engine bleed one and two, push button, uh, release, off legend are on. APU push button is uh, release, on legend is off. Then uh, make sure that pack one and pack two, push button switch are release, off legends are on. And of course, tell the people to do not to do not uh, operate the engines, which is good. Now we need to start the APU. So batteries, auto extinguisher, ground test, CB pulled, um, fire test. Okay. CB in, master switch. We're waiting until flap is open, so flap is open, we can hit the start button. And you can see that RPMs are going up. And if you go to electric, you can see that yeah, the batteries are already uh, charging, but during start, using quite a lot of uh, power from the batteries, because the APU is start from the batteries. APU is on, so we need to wait uh, three minutes and then we can continue with our uh, decontamination. So we hit the three minutes uh, mark, so we'll switch on the APU bleed. And now the air starts to flow out of uh, this uh, tool which we installed on a high pressure connector. So. Now we just need to wait 15 minutes uh, till the contamination process is done. I just realized that I didn't explain why we need to perform this task. So here it is. During schedule maintenance, we found small leak on the APU, which we fix. But we need to be sure that none of this oil get into the bleed duct, because if it gets in the bleed duct, it can get to air conditioning system and that will cause smell in the cabin, which we want to avoid. So this way we will lead all that bleed air from the APU overboard and if there is any contamination in form of oil, we'll find it on this fabric, which we install in the tool. If there is no oil on the fabric, that means the duct is clean. So it is that simple. Now let's go back to our procedure. We reached the 
15 minutes you can switch off the bleed and yeah we can go to inspect what we have on our uh, fabric so we can switch off the APU and we'll take a look at it And since we are here, let me explain what is this good for. This is high pressure connection. Through this we supply from the outside source high pressure uh, air to the airplane, which we can use either for supplying the air conditioned packs or we can start uh, through this high pressure connection engines. Uh, most of the time you need to start with engine two because this connection is near to engine one so yeah the best option is to park a uh, ground cart next to engine one uh, bring the horse we'll start the engine two then we will close it and then we'll make a cross bleed start for engine one from engine two oh. that easy this is used basically only when the apu is in a And as I said, there is a check hole. Yep, that's it. So we can close it. Job has been performed successfully. We run also the uh, packs or air condition, and there was no smell. So airplane is good to go. Now let's take a look uh, on the tool itself. As you can see inside, you have a check valve. So whenever you put it on the high pressure connection, you will open this valve and by lifting the handle you will secure it on the place and lift it up this way it will be secure on the place thanks to these balls once we want to move it away you just push pull it down and basically you'll disconnect it and this valve will gonna close as as we showed you before with this uh, you will block the check valve which is inside against the closing and uh, this is a mesh which goes into this part then the fabric which you saw before and of course o-ring which holds it on the place you screw it on the bottom and that's basically it. the hot air exit from the bottom easy as that this is how the filter looks after test. As you can see, it's clean, which means that there was no contamination in the duct, which is good. Now I just put aircraft back to normal configuration. Uh, as always, I would like to ask you to don't use this as a replacement for your maintenance manual, but always use latest documentation linked to my manufacturer. This is all from my side. My name is Tomas. This was Aircraft Maintenance with Zpo, and I will see you next Sunday. Bye.